Hey folks, I'm Dutch Doyle. I am the host of Dutch Doyle Discussion. How's everybody today? Recently I've been receiving emails wanting me to talk about my long guns. Well, I'm going to give you just that. I'm going to take a stab at it today. I'm going to show you three three long rifles that I have that I like and I bought them for various reasons. I'm going to show you what I have, how to clear them and make them safe, why I like them, and which one's my favorite. Stay tuned, stay to the end, see what I come up with. Later! My Smith & Wesson M&P line AR-15. Important, before we even start this, the weapon is pointed in a safe direction, the safety is engaged, but the weapon is not safe. So we've gone through this a thousand times. How do you make the weapon safe? Or the pelvis loaded? Well, I give you a hint. It's not looking down the barrel. So, we remove the source of ammunition. Push the magazine release, pull your magazine out, Put it to the side. Now you know there's one in the chamber with the safety still on, pointed in a safe direction. You rack the slide, round comes out. I couldn't even. <laughs> it's pretty funny how it goes right towards the camera. With the slide locked to the rear, by pulling the charging handle and hitting the slide lock, you perform a visual and physical inspection. Yep, sure looks like there's nothing in there. Stick my finger in there to make sure. Nope, there's nothing in there. Let the slide go to the forward position. Rack the slide a couple times. I can ensure there's nothing in this weapon right now. But I'm going to check just one more time. I don't want to get my face blown off by accident. So pull the slide back. Lock it to the rear. Push the charging handle forward. Give it a look-see. Yeah, it's clear. So, close the dust cover. Slides forward. I picked this up for uh, 600 bucks. Do I like it? I fired it a couple times. I'm not too big on it. I mean, I was training this in the NYPD when um, the Mumbai incident happened. Um, before that, I was using the Mini 14. We'll discuss that weapon because it's one of my favorites, but not the favorite. I mean, come on. Everybody's got one of these. Everybody. An AR does not stand for Assault Rifle 15. It's Armament Light. Uh, is it Armament Light? Oh, Armor Light. Um, Armor Light Rifle. It's pretty light. I mean, it's not too heavy, but there's some weight to it. Uh, in the front, I have a flashlight and laser mount. On top, I have optics. The great thing about this rifle is even with the optics on, if the battery dies, all I have to do is push a button here. If we can find the fucking button. Right here. The rear sight pops up, and I can shoot through the co-witness through the optical to the front sight to engage my targets. This the battery goes dead on this. I have this pretty much um, zeroed into 200 yards, but okay, whatever. It's got a classable stock, 
if you want to go real short. And I get the extended barrel, which kind of, with the, the classical stock, it doesn't make sense, but okay. So when holding the rifle, you keep your hand in the pistol grip, keep your finger out of the trigger well. How can you secure this weapon? Easy. Lock the slide to the rear. Push forward the charging handle. The bolt is back. You take a wire, um, cable lock, put it through here, come out the magazine well, lock it, take the key, and walk the fuck away. The weapon is safe. Please, I'm going to say this again. Don't be pointing the weapon at people saying, hey, look in the barrels. This is loaded. Listen, you do a press check. That's what we call press check. The slide go forward. Things around it. You pull out gently. If it's brass, you get around in there. If it's no brass, no round chambered. On this weapon, I have a forward assist. When slapping in magazines and let the slide go forward, it may not chamber around. It might get kind of stuck. So you would hit the forward assist to walk the bolt forward and walk the round into the chamber. Considering I spent countless hours shooting this fucking gun, I'm still not that proficient in it. I'm proficient enough to make it safe, proficient enough to engage a target. I'd probably be proficient enough in the NYPD to carry this in the car and pull it out when I need it and put it to work. Well, not one of my favorite rifles, but come on, I got an AR. Did you think you're the only one with an AR? Everybody's got an AR now. It's one of the most commonly bought rifles out in America right now. Everybody wants a piece of the military. This is one of them. Move on to the next rifle. But Ian, this is a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, and would blow your head clean off. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Moving on to the Ruger Ranch Rifle Mini 14. Now, this is a rifle I can get behind. I really like this rifle. So I spend the most time in the PD with trained users, countless hours, more hours than I was on the AR platform. The good thing about this is the AR and the Mini 14 share the same ammo type, 223, 5.56. So with the safety on, and I can tell the safety is engaged because I put it on, we're clear of this weapon. It's still pointed in a safe direction. We remove the source of ammo first. With the magazine release located behind the ma uh, magazine, pull it out. But I know me, I know there's a round in the chamber. So we run the cycle, and the round is right there. We'll pluck it out, and then pull it back hard enough the first time for the round to come out. But this is one of my favorite rifles. Um, let's take a countless hours behind this thing. I got a reflexive um, sight on top. I can still co witness with the, metal, the iron sights on the bottom because you can see right under it because the ejection port's there. I got a pressure plate with a flashlight on it. Well, I'm still in the safe direction. Right. So, I also carry an extra magazine on the gun. Kind of cool, right? Third round magazine. I have law enforcement exemption, so I can buy all sorts of cool shit that the normal civilian can't buy, depending on what state they're in. I guess the shiny thing does give me extra privileges. It can. Yeah, it does. But, I have this rifle zeroed in for... 300 yards or something like that more than they are um i've shot this rifle in three gun competitions next to guys shooting ars they always seem to run into a jam or a malfunction or a cycling problem with this i've never had one i was able to best the guys with the mini uh, with the uh, ars with my mini because it kind of runs like a sewing machine it does because it's a time on a tested design same design the m1 garand uses that we used in world war ii but this is 30 rounds of pure fucking hate. When you need it. Not that anybody's going to need this. I, I, I wouldn't go hunting with this. It's a varmint round. It's for rodents. That's what that round's used for. I guess you can call your enemies rodents, right? Well, to lock the bite, bolt to the rear, you pull back. There's a button right on top. And it's locked to the rear. The safety on the weapon goes either way. Out or in. Out or in. In is safe. Out is ready to rock and roll. Well, a lot of people don't like this rifle. I do. Used it countless times on the job. Um, did all terrorism training with this. You know, before the M4 platform, the AR M4 platform became available to patrol guys um, or detectives in organized crime. This is a tried and true um, design. It works. It just works for me. Doesn't look like this coming out of the box. I did a lot of um, modifications myself, 
but the weapon is heavy, a lot heavier than they are. But I know when I'm putting rounds that range, I'm not gonna have a problem, and I'm gonna hit everything I see. Again, folks, same thing with this rifle. Don't point the weapon at your friend saying, is this loaded? Cause your luck, it'll probably be loaded and your finger will slip off the weapon, into the trigger well, and you'll let a round go. And then you, your friend, your pet, will never be seen anymore because they'll be dead and you'll be in jail. So, folks, do not look down the barrel of these weapons to see if they're loaded. To let the slide go forward, you give it a little tug, and it rocks forward. Kind of cool, right? Kind of easy. Don't point guns at people. But the last rifle I'm going to use, that's my favorite. This is my second favorite. That one's my favorite. And so I crash on the path when I'm lying in bed just to get it all up. What's in my head? And I, 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 I,
like one of these. Yep. Happy bayonet day. What makes the grass grow? grow? Blood, blood, blood. Whatever. Um, I was a cop. I was in the military. Paramilitary, not military. You can shoot with the bayonet on. You're not going to be real accurate. It just tends to float with the bayonet on. But, really hate, hate the enemy. You stick him all the way up to the hilt. And maybe let a round go in the meantime. It's a big fuck you to him. But this by far is my favorite rifle I have. Let's take the bayonet off before I fucking stick myself with it. It's all touchy sometimes. There we go, bayonet is off. The gun is still clear. Um, I'll put this to the side. Okay, now, what we have to realize is, nowadays we carry the 223 5.56, either way you can call it. Um, it's a vomit round. What the M1 Grand fires is a hunting round. And think about war people, you're hunting your enemy. Do I want to be firing this, or would I like to be firing this? I'd fire this thing all fucking day. <laughs> now this is fuck you like a 30 out 6 round. And chances are, your enemy won't be getting back up after one or two hits. Same thing with a 45. You get the 45 ACP, you put a round into a guy, he's definitely going down. Even if it's shoulder wound, he's going to drop. Um, yeah, those are my three rifles. Well, I have a lot more than three, but those are my three faves. Um, this is all semi-automatic. A couple bolt rifles, a couple lever actions, and something that's a little bit more than semi, let's just say. People, before you go crazy, I have the law enforcement exemption. I can basically own a machine gun. And here we go. Now, I know what you're asking yourself. Am I loading the rifles for the show just so I can show to unload them? No. All those rifles in the safe, they're all loaded because what good is it? An unloaded firearm. Or as I used to uh, joke with people, without gun batteries in them. But, <laughs> folks, those are three rifles, three of my faves in there. First one, I, eh. Second one, eh. Third one, yeah. So, that being said, the little tutorial on uh, semi-automatic semi -automatic rifles, no big deal. Different, ca well, two different calibers. Um, the most important thing to take out of this is gun safety. Don't point a gun at anything you're not willing to live without. Or don't point a gun unless you mean it or you're gonna use it. People are weird like that. They just, yeah. nope, that's not how you do it. No, 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 no. Folks, I am Dutch Doyle. These are my discussions. Yet, more firearms displayed, and yet I still have more in the safe to do. So, as time goes on, you'll actually see every gun I have. Uh, get a little explanation on them, how to load and unload them, how to keep them safe at all times. But, I'm out of here for the day. I want you people to enjoy your fucking day. Hello. Zero point two. Fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, son. <laughs>